Oh, hey, I didn't see you guys there. I was just about to have a spot of tea. Okay, no, I totally knew the camera was here and that I was filming. I actually grabbed the tea kettle just for it. And why did I grab this Peter Pan teapot? I will tell you, it's because today I'm going to show you what I have so far in my Tinkerbell pin collection. Come on. Okay, guys, so the board itself is not yet complete, but we're getting there. So I thought as part of that mission to getting there, I would start to show you what we already have. So I'm gonna flip the switch and show you. Hey guys, this lighting okay? I don't know. Let's see if I can jazz this up. Okay, we've officially jazzed it up and let's start from the top right here. We're starting with some basic tinks. Uh, here she is sitting and looking back. I, uh, my husband really is the one who is better at tracking like which ones are limited editions, which ones are basic and whatnot. A lot of these I've gotten in trades, so the ones I get, that's why I don't always know. This one is a DisneyAuctions.com pin, which I thought had a limited size, but I'm not seeing that, so. We like to get a lot of the patriotic Tinkerbell pins, so you can see that in these two here, and you'll see more as we continue on this board. So, these are a bit more standard T for Tinkerbell. This is the one where she has kind of like crazed eyebrows. Don't know much about that, but we have it anyway. And she looks kind of manic here too. Maybe this is like a scrapper. I don't know, but she looks kind of cray cray. She looks kind of cray. She looks kind of angry with crazy eyebrows. We have a February Tinkerbell pin. And now let's go back to this row. So these are really nice. It kind of looks like a book. So that's why I liked this one. And here again with kind of like a nice border. This is another one I like because it has like the pop out element or pin on pin. And it had the red, white, and blue, which I look for. And this one I like because it had a pop-out pumpkin, kind of like 3D, and it is a Halloween 2012 pin. And when it comes to Tinkerbell, we don't mind if the year is on it. Sorry, I'll try to be a little more still. This is just a pop-out Tinkerbell pin. This was the Hong Kong first anniversary pin as well next to it the grand opening pin both of these pins were pretty cheap i either got one of them i got from epcot in the japan pavilion uh or it might have been china i can't remember oh china <laughs> i'm so bad i embarrass myself now oh no and the other one i got at the outlets in florida this one i liked a lot it's february uh but because it's a cameo and i love cameos we are city people uh, in the sense that we live on Long Island and we go out to the city all the time. So anything that has like NYC, I really like. And it's a Valentine's Day pin. And Tinkerbell is very popular for the holiday pins as you'll start to see. Here we have Season's Greetings 2002. Let's see, this one is a Magic Kingdom 2005. And this is just a Disneyland pin, but I thought it was really pretty with the fireworks and whatnot, and Tinkerbell kind of going over the castle. This one is from the Hong Kong uh, Disneyland mystery pin set, so I was really glad to get her in that when I ordered a few of those boxes. This one is obviously Eiffel Tower pink. Tink. <laughs> this one is from the Tinkerbell, uh, it's from the Bottle Cap Collection, which I believe is a mystery um, cast member pin. We have the name tag, Tinkerbell, with a little floating head. This one is just Tink with some produce. We're all about produce here. My husband is a produce manager. Uh, and then these are two of the Where Dreams Come True Tinkerbell pins. These were given out by cast members to guests who were doing like active, acts of kindness, which is uh, really cool. And these are just some standard Tinkerbells. Fun fact, these cuties is the first mystery pin set I ever completed. And then I never completed a mystery pack again because I didn't need to, because I achieved it. 
And here we have this nesting doll, Tinkerbell. Uh, I doubt <laughs> Disney Kitty would be watching this, but on the off chance, Disney Kitty, how do you keep the camera still when you're holding up to do these pin board collections? This is so hard. So this one's just fun and funky. I thought it looked really pretty. I got this in a trade, same as this one, same as this one. So a lot of these tanks I just got because I wanted to trade and people had Tinkerbell, so why not? Here we have a purchase uh, and we've kept it on the backer. This was a Happy New Year pin from Disneyland Paris. And more holiday stuff, May Day 2009. We just like tink looking nice pink and pretty. Same with this one. I just thought it was a really nice pin. I believe I got it in a Marcy Mouse sale. Same with a lot of these holiday ones or the pin on pin ones. So this was a Marcy Mouse. This one, probably this one too. Quite a few of these. Probably Halloween too. Oh, who's the other one? Uh, Disney Art. Um... I'll look it up and put it down. I got a lot of these from her as well. So this flower one I thought was really pretty. Um, my Disney art is my Disney art 22. She'll do a lot of buy five for 20. And that's where I got a lot of these tink pins. This one we had to get being New Yorkers. We really liked. I like getting the T pins because my husband's name is Tommy. So it works out. This we got from Disney Dad 83. Check out his channel. He does a lot of princess pins, and he was really nice to send that to us. Same as this one. So that was really generous of him, and now we have a nice like holiday collection. This one, Little Pixie, um, if I can get it off, here we go. It, whoop, on the back is the sketch version, and you can kind of pick which one you want to show. So since the colorful one was showing, let's get the black and white on. Here's a happy birthday pin, and this was sent to me by Cinder Alley Loves Disney. So it's so nice to have this pin, and the colors go great with the rest of the board. This I like because it was just so traditional. This is like Tink, you know, popping up on the screen before a movie with the castle. Love it. And this is from the Hollywood Studios Film Strip Mystery pin. And here we have a Disneyland Tinkerbell. It says the original. Let's see if I could get a better view on her. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> and here we have Happy Holidays. I love that she's got like a Tinkerbell scarf. I think that's hilarious. I love it. And here we have 1999. Wow. Magic delivery. That's really cool. Look at her flying there. Very neat. This is just one of those t-shirt pins. It's possibly a scrapper. Traditional Walt Disney World Tink standing in her little seductive pose. Naughty Tink and Disneyland Resort 2006. I, I like that she's like a nice size on this and it pops out with the writing. This one I got as well from Disney Dad. Um, it's funny that she's wearing an egg as a hat and that the sorcerer hat is here, which is like amazing. I think that is so cool. And now we have some more of our patriotic pins. This one I opened up on a video and in the same pin mail video, I opened it up twice. I got it twice, I bought it twice. So now we have two 4th of July Tinkerbell pins. Another one is 4th of July 2006, Disneyland Resort. And we have July 4th, 2005, Disneyland Resort. This is an Epcot Summer Vacation 2003. Oh yes, remember that. Remember that, guys. I do. And now I will forever. And this one's really awesome. Um, Red, white, and blue, Epcot 25th anniversary. Tinkerbell pops out over here. Let's see if we can see the limited edition size. So this is a limited edition of 2000. So there are quite a few Tinkerbells here, but guys, there's a lot of room I gotta fill. Who wants to take on the challenge and help me fill this out? Marcy Mouse has helped. My Disney art has helped. And Disney Dad 
Cinder Alley. Who's next? As I'm like sweating, look at me. My makeup is just gone all over. Just from leaning over to show you a pin board. What does that say about me? I don't know, maybe I need to do less pin trading and more like hiking. I don't know if I'm ready for that though. But that's my Tinkerbell collection as of now. So hopefully I'll be able to do an update video for you sometime soon. I also have done a video on my Figaro collection. So if I'm like in cahoots, if I'm in like a good place when I upload this, I'll put the Figaro video link up somewhere. But you know, can't make promises can't make promises. Thanks for watching this video. If you've done any character collections on your channel, let me know below. Or if there's any characters that you collect solely, let me know. Because I know for me, I found in the beginning, I was collecting everything. Then I decided, you know what? I got to trade and downsize for who I want. That makeup's still there. Ah, but then I was like, all right, I'm just focusing on Tinkerbell and Figaro. And that's made it so that, oh, I made it so much worse, but we're done filming. Oh my God, it keeps going. What I'm trying to say is, <laughs> I'm distracted by it now. When, when I buy a pin, it's for one of those two characters. So I'm not buying every week, maybe like once a month. So that's it. See you next time. Thanks for making it through the makeup. Bye.